If you've ever wondered how people who scored in the 99th percentile on the UCAT think while they're answering questions, this is the video for you because today I'll be doing a full decision making subtest mock live on camera with no cuts and no edits. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Emil and I'm a first year medical student studying at Monash University. This video has actually been one of my most requested ones as on the UCAT I actually aced the decision making subtest and scored a full 900 on the test. I hope you guys can find something useful from from me doing the decision making subtest live for all of you to watch and if you appreciate the fact that I'm doing this decision making subtest please do drop a like on the video or comment down below what you thought of my strategy. Since I've always been really comfortable with the decision making subtest today I'll be hoping to get less than three questions wrong in the subtest so we can see how I do. One thing to note as well is that I'll have a camera showing my working out showing what I'm writing as I'm thinking during the decision making subtest as well and with all that said let's get straight on to me doing the subtest live. Alright so I've got the UCAT practice test A here from the official website. This is just the first one they have on that practice test website. Uh, they don't have timed decision making mocks, so that's the reason why I'm doing this one. So, without further ado, let's just get straight onto it. I'll end this review of the verbal reasoning section and we'll move on to the decision making. In this minute leading up to the test, I usually actually used to do some like breath work just to make sure I was feeling ready and calming myself down. I think it's really important to actually use this minute so that you can like calm yourself down and make sure you're feeling okay and forgetting the previous subtest before you move on to the next one. But for the sake of time here, I'll just move on. Okay, so sometimes people might recommend that you skip the syllogisms, but I won't do that for the sake of time in this subtest. So all countries provide visas to the passport. X. Country B provides visas to the passport holders of only two countries. So the first question is, all diplomatic passport holders receive visas in country B. So there's nothing about diplomatic passport holders, so this would be no. A man received a visa in country C, so he must have a passport of country X. Um, this is also not necessarily true. Country B passport holders are eligible for visas in country X. That's not true because all countries provide visas to the passport holders of country X, but that doesn't mean anything about country X providing visas, so this would be no as well. Passport holders of country X never have to worry about applying for a visa in advance. Yes, that would be true because all countries provide visas. Samantha received a visa in country B, so she must have a passport of either country X or country A. So with this one, it tells us that country A provides visas to the passport holders of country B and vice versa. So country B and country B provides visas to only two countries and all countries provide visas to country X, so this must be true, yes. Okay. Next one, in a company, a profit margin of more than 50% can be achieved only when production occurs in a country whose currency is weaker or when the company is willing to compromise on safety. Okay. A company does not compromise on safety. Its production occurs in a different country to its market. Its profit margin can be less than 50%. Yes. So because it can only be achieved, it doesn't mean it is achieved every time. A company has a profit margin of more than 50%. It meets all safety requirements. Its production must occur in a different country. Yes, that would be true. Because, yeah, uh, can only be achieved when production, yeah. A company's production occurs in country Y, which has a weaker country, a uh, weaker currency. It must have a, that's not true. I guess the important keyword is can be achieved. Achieving a profit margin of more than 50% is difficult for a manufacturing company. There's nothing about difficulty, so theoretically this could be easy to do. Authorities have identified a company as compromising on safety, must have a profit margin. No, that's also not true because of that can keyword. Okay. Of the entrepreneurs present at the summit this year, none were women working in the engineering industry. This one seems pretty easy. Only male entrepreneurs were present at the summit. No, that's not true. Very few women entrepreneurs were present at the summit. That's also not true. You can't get that from this information. No entrepreneur at the summit who works. 
Yes, that would be true. Because none were women, yeah. All the male entrepreneurs at the summit work in the engineering. This is also not true. There's nothing to suggest that. The entrepreneurs at the summit who were in the, who work in the engineering industry were men. Yes, that would also be true. Looking at time, we're going pretty well, 27 minutes. All crows are black, all doves are white. This bird is either a dove or a crow. Okay. So this bird is white, not necessarily true because it could be a crow and all crows are black. This bird is either white or a crow. This would be true, yes. If not a crow, this bird is a black dove. No, because there they aren't black doves. This bird is either black or a dove. Yes, that would be true. This bird is neither black nor white. Um, this one's pretty hard to understand. So this one would be no, because it has to be either black or white. Yeah. Okay. A school class has been split into groups of five to learn about size. Each group needs to establish who is tallest and who is shortest. They know the following. So these ones, it can be quite useful to write stuff down. So I might write, Cora is shorter than Angie. So I might make like a, a line like this. And we know that Cora, shorter than Angie. Emma is shorter than Belle. And I see Belle again in this fourth line. So Belle is shorter than Cora and Angie. So I can put Belle here and I can put Emma here because she's shorter than Belle. And then we've got D is taller than Belle, but shorter than Cora. So D must be here. Okay. Who is the tallest and shortest members? Then Emma is the shortest and Angie is the tallest. Uzdu and Wesco are each six miles from my home, but Uzdu is eight miles from Wesco on the expressway. Okay, so I might draw a diagram for this one as well. So you could have, so this would be six miles and six miles, and this would be Uzdu, and this would be Wesco, and this would be eight. And Tulip is three miles from my house on the road, so Tulip is here. Okay. If I start in Uzdu and drive directly to Wesco, I must pass my hat. Not true. It is just as quick for me to get to Wesco as Uzdu. Not necessarily because I think there'd be like speed issues. A round trip from home to Wesco to Uzdu and back home is at least 20 miles. Yes, that'll be true because six plus eight plus six is 20, yeah. Okay. These ones, this is actually a new question type in the UCAT this year, but I'm not too good with them. But Essentially what you have to do is you just have to assign numbers to each of these. So looking at this one, which has two shapes, I could imagine that the square would be one or two. And if the square was two, then the triangle would be six. But if the square was one, the triangle would be three. So if we assume, if we say the square is one, then we could say that the triangle is three. So we could go square equals one triangle equals three, um, then we'd have three plus three, the circle would be five, um, circle would be five, then therefore the rectangle would be, um, circle plus square would be six. So this is nine and this is 10. So it'd have to be a square, yep. There are eight apartments on a floor. Each apartment has one, two, three or four rooms as shown in the figure. One of four owners. I think we're doing okay for time. Adam, Flora, Gary or Rose, each owner owns two apartments. Okay, so I might draw a grid here as well for this. Ugh, that's not good. Draw a nine by nine grid. Um, both of Adam's apartments are in the same horizontal row, but do not share a wall. And they already give us a one of Adam's apartments. So Adam must be here and here. Either rows or flora have the same number of rooms in their two apartments. So that means rows and flora can't be here or here because then they wouldn't have the same number of rooms. So it has to be at four or three. And then Gary's two apartments share one dividing wall and neither Gary nor flora have a three room apartment. So therefore we have 
Gary, if Gary's apartments don't share a dividing wall, it must be here and here or here and here. But because they don't have a, because Gary doesn't have the three room apartment, he must be here and here. And then it would have to be Flora in. Oh yeah, so it would be Flora in four and two, and then rows here. Okay. The one room apartments, oh, I didn't really have to do that. The one room apartments which belong to, which are the following, it would be Gary and Adam. Yeah, Gary and Adam. Okay, 22 minutes. The four shapes shown on the chessboard represent the bishop, knight, king, and queen. Oh, the bishop, king. The queen is closer to Rob than the knight. Okay. The queen and the bishop are situated on the same colored square. Okay. So the queen and the bishop can be here or either here. The star is neither represented by the knight nor the king. So because we know the queen and the bishop are on the same square and the knight and the king are not on the star, then it must be the queen and the bishop here in either of these two. The bishop is on the right side of the board when seen from John's side. So this must be the bishop. This must be this must be the queen. And the queen is closer to Rob than the knight, so this must be the knight. So the arrow is the knight. To improve road safety and encourage technological development, should the use of driverless cars and lorries be encouraged on all roads in the world? So we want something that addresses road safety, technological development and then on the road. Okay. Yes, it will be a powerful incentive for highway authorities to improve the standard of the roads. Nothing about technological development, so not this one. Yes, with all their sensors, blah, blah, blah. Much safer than vehicles. So again, nothing about technological development. Total confidence in the systems under development. Not much about safety, but let's have a look at this last one. No, a pilot project needed first to make sure blah 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 and technology yeah so it would be this one because to make sure that the technology works in all circumstances should solar panels be fitted to all government buildings to ensure a country fulfills its invent its environmental environmental commitments to cut its carbon emissions by 34 percent okay so we want to be targeting carbon emissions and environmental commitments and government buildings so Yes, the government should be doing their bit for the environment. It doesn't really talk about this that much at all. Yes, fitting government buildings with solar panels will go some way to fulfilling the government's environmental commitments. This one also sort of yes, but doesn't really hit, um, hit it perfectly. It could be right. No solar panels are unsightly. This is definitely not it. Uh, no solar panels are not suitable for all buildings. To meet commitments, more measured design to gen generate renewable energy are needed. So it would, I think it would be D here because it commits, um, it talks about the government buildings, which is not all buildings, and then to meet commitments um, addresses this part of the prompt as well. Should public libraries be able to charge readers a small fee to borrow books so that they can afford to buy new books? Okay. Yes, the government has imposed severe cuts on local authorities. Keep li This isn't about keeping libraries open, so not this one. Many libraries are underfunded and cannot buy books without additional income. It is fair that this could come from Borrow Street. Yeah, straight away I think it's this one. Um, no, most people don't use libraries, it's not this one. Have enough books. This is also probably not that one. So I think it'd be. Is a substantial reduction in the price of crude oil good for the world? So we've got we want to be targeting good for the world and the price of crude oil. So, <clears throat> yes, the price of, this has nothing to do with about whether it will be good for the world. So it's not A, I don't think. Countries will benefit from reduced spending on crude oil, enabling them to spend more money on infrastructure. Um, this one also not that clear why it would be good for the world. Um, it will stop vehicle manufacturers. This is also not really, true necessarily there isn't a correlation to the price it might it may incre increase pollution which will turn more damage to the global environment I, 
This one's pretty tough, actually. I think it's between D and B, but I'm actually thinking it's D because it's more relevant to what's good for the world. Okay, so I've got these interpreting data questions. I'm just checking the time. I have, I think about 15 questions left, 17 minutes, which is good. The graph shows the number of cases of influenza and an unknown condition reported at a location in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, and I'm looking at the graph here as well. So we've got influenza on the dotted line, unknown condition, black line, and then less than five-year-olds with the unknown condition as well. Okay. The condition mostly follows a bout of influenza. There's nothing to say that in the graph. Because um, even though it's shifted a little to the right, you don't know whether it's actually about whether people get it straight after influenza. Younger children are more likely to be affected by the condition. No, that's not true. Because five-year-olds has less, less than five-year-olds have less. A record high sale of well, there's nothing about sales in this graph, so this would also be no. The condition is prevented by raising the vitamin C intake range. Also, nothing, uh, nothing to suggest that vitamin C intake actually increases. So this would be no as well. Influenza and the condition have a strong relationship with the temperature and sunshine patterns. So this one, I'd actually say probably yes, because you can infer that as the months go on, the rates change all simultaneously so in december january february they're all high and then they all go low for the months in between so i'd actually say yes although this one's a bit a bit dodgy in this digitally chaotic age i might skip this one because i can't be bothered to read all of that this one as well i'll read this one Basic glue can, a soluble. So I remember that I skipped two, so I need to keep an eye on that. Let's concentrate on outer layers. Forms a viscous layer, attenuates, stops, I think. The uptake of cholesterol. The body draws upon this pool of circulating cholesterol, breaks it down into bile to aid the digestive process. The oat beta glucan works on this independent of and incremental to the initial cholesterol levels. So bile breaks down cholesterol in the lower parts of the gut. Um, no, that's not true because cholesterol is broken down into bile, so it's the other way around. Some soluble fibers, fibers lower blood cholesterol in more than one way. So yes, beta glucan is one, so yeah, this would be yes. The mode of an administration of beta-glucan determines its cholesterol-lowering ability. This we know. I don't think there, was, there wasn't anything about mode of administration. Individuals with both elevated and normal cholesterol levels would benefit from consuming oat bran. So this would be no, I think, because the oat beta-glucan works on this independent of and incremental to the initial cholesterol levels. So what this means is that People with elevated cholesterol would go down. People with normal would also go down, and that wouldn't necessarily be a good thing. There's a strong association between dietary beta-glucan consumption and decrease in blood cholesterol. Some people would be yes, I think, because they talk pretty much the whole passage is about that. Okay. French multimedia company closed its re recruitment outsourcing division, not making a profit. The division only received ad hoc requests. Within one year of shutting down the division, the company lost seven of its 12 platinum counts. This one's interesting because you don't actually know if the division shutting down was the reason why this got reduced. But losing seven platinum accounts is not a big problem for this company. Nothing about that in this. So no. Other departments were busier than the recruiting recruitment outsourcing division. Also no, you can't really tell that. French companies prefer to outsource recruitment. So there's nothing really about the preferences of French companies either. This one would be no. Although the recruitment division was not making profit, it was an integral part of the offerings provided by the company. This one, yeah, that's what I was talking about with you don't really know if these two are correlated. Just because they happen at the same time doesn't mean they're correlated. So I think this is actually no. And large companies prefer one-stop solutions for all their service needs. This one's also no, because there's nothing about the preferences of large companies. 
This is my full of them, which is interesting, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. In a large company, all employees are required to complete a minimum of three different types of training to qualify for promotion. So I've got the, got the calculator up here. Um, how many employees qualify for promotion? So we need the people with three different types of training, uh, at least three. So that would be just gonna. So we've got the nine here plus the twelve here. This is 26 and then 32 so plus 12 plus 26 plus 2 which is 79 and created four group chats one for her family one for her school friends male female friends and those who stay in London okay so family London school friends female friends um, Based on the diagram, which individuals are common to at least three groups? So the main thing here would be looking at um, a look at male family members who presently stay in London. So that would be uh, that would be family members who stay in London. That's two groups, so it's not A. Female school friends who presently stay in London. So we've got school friends, female friends, and London. Yeah, it would be B. Nursery is open for three sessions every weekday. On Tuesday, a total of 40, 40 children attended at least one of the three sessions. Eight children attended the first session. So for this one, I might write something like, um, I might do one, two, three sessions. Eight children attended only the first one. Seven children attended only the third one. Eight children attended both first and second only, and 10 did second and third only. So we've got this. So then it's a matter of 40 children. How many children attend the second session altogether? So I could do um, 40 minus 8 minus 8 minus 10 minus 7, which is 7. So this would be 7. And then I've just got to add plus 8 plus 10. Oh, it's going to be 25. Anyway. The diagram shows the trend of the three highest selling products of an e-store during the first hour of its launch, the shapes represent what customers purchased and their age category. Numbers in the diagrams represents the number of people in each category. Okay. Cosmetics and fragrances was the second highest selling product category. Okay. Cosmetics and fragrances, we should add. Second highest selling. So I just have to think about whether one of these would be higher and if so, by how much? So this one is gonna be 70 plus 23, 93 plus three, 96. I'm just gonna write that here. Um, let's do this one. We got 23 plus 52 plus 12 plus, yeah, this one is higher. So we just have to look at the rest to see if anything else is higher. So we've got 51 plus seven plus 12 plus three, this is not higher. And then for books, we got 59 plus 21 plus seven, 87. So yes, this would actually be the second highest selling product category. That makes it easy because we don't have to check the other ones. The diagram shows the population of dogs at an animal rescue facility. Circle represents short fur, triangle represents spotted fur, the rectangle represents loud bark. Okay, got to check time as well. Eight minutes left, so I might have to hurry it up. Um, okay. Dogs with short fur that weigh more than 40 pounds, either spotted um, or have a loud bark. So short fur, more than 40 pounds, so between here and here. Either spotted or have a loud bark, no. Um, the number of dogs that are either neither spotted nor have short fur, so not spotted, uh, not spotted, not short fur, so these two, is fewer than the number of dogs that neither have a loud bark nor weigh 40 pounds or less. So that would be 34 plus 12 plus 26. We go. 34 plus 12 plus 26. Oh, I can minus 10, that'll be 72. I mistyped it, but it's fine. Um, Neither have a loud bark nor weigh 40 pounds or less. So that would be not in these three categories. So 7 plus 10 plus 50. 
that's going to be 67. So this is not true. Uh, with a loud bark and short fur is equal to the number of dogs with a loud bark and spotted fur. So rectangle, loud bark, um, loud bark and short fur is going to be six. Loud bark and spotted fur is going to be six for spotted, so it's not this one. I'm just going to pick that one because it must be that. Distribution of features among various models. So I have to also remember that I have about five questions, seven questions left, so seven minutes to do that as well. Circle represents MP3s, squares, preloaded maps. Um, I might skip this because I might have to do a bit of calculation. The statement, all humans are mammals, no humans like eggs, some mammals like eggs. True. Okay, so all humans are mammals is gonna be a circle inside a big circle. No human lays eggs. Some mammals. So that would be this one because this would be humans, mammals, eggs, birds. Bill has a coin. Probability that when he throws it, it's P, he learned 10 times. Still be P, yes. Um, yeah, this is the first one because the previous 10 have no effect. Two white counters and two black counters in a bag of four. Um, Eric takes out a counter, does not look at it and puts it to one side. The counter is white. Eric then takes a second counter out of the bag. He does not look at it. Eric states the probability is white is 0.5. That's not true because the first counter was white. So this would be that, I think. Hospital A and Hospital B have an equal number of x-ray machines. Each day, 2% of the machines are unusable, 75. These questions are pretty easy because you can just equivalent, um, make them equivalent. The chance that a usable machine will break down on every given one in 10 and tw two in 20. So these are the same. So what matters is the amount of machines that are usable. So Hospital B is not the better choice because they have the same chance of machine breakdown no, so same chance of machine breakdown, but hospital B has fewer. Medicine A cannot cure 10%. 90% of the patients are cured. So these two are the same. Three and 30, four and 40, these two are the same. So no, both medicines are equally effective and have the same likelihood of an allergy. So now I have three questions to complete in five minutes, which is much better. I'm gonna review the incomplete ones. In this digitally chaotic age of computer imagery, digital and animation, old-fashioned early childhood educators have however found valuable educational toy effective retention of knowledge was observed among kindergarten children resurrecting an early eliminated blah 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 fostering self-confidence and self-expression digital entertainment has made all this is not true there's nothing about it they just say that it's chaotic Puppets as learning tools are valuable for school children of all age groups. Also not true, because you don't hear about other um, school children. The importance of art, the art of puppetry has been promoted by experts in the field. This one I'm a bit suspicious about, but I guess early childhood educators can be considered experts in the field, so I'd say yes. Puppetry has not been used previously primary schools because it was regarded as old-fashioned. No, that's not true because there was a puppet center before, so that's not true. Um, puppetry helps in developing the verbal ability of children who have started formal education. Um, yeah, valuable in building oral language skills, fostering self-confidence and self -experience. So this would be tr true. So look at this. Consumers today, I have three minutes left, so it's fine. More aware of healthcare choices they have Transitioning from drug-oriented and highly invasive um, to alternative therapies. Asthma is seasonal. Alleviated use of salt therapy. Dry par salt particles in the air for patients to inhale. Okay. Well-informed people are responsible for their own health. I don't really think there's much about well-informed people here. Consumers today are more aware of the healthcare choices they have. Take greater responsibility for their own health. I, I don't know about this one. I don't, I don't think so. 
Salt therapy uses a range of techniques, some which are invasive. No. Yeah, so salt, is, it is a range of techniques, but they're not invasive. Bronchodilator drugs do not boost respiratory strength in some astros, asthma su sufferers. Um, this would be no, it's just talking about those patients who had abandoned. Um, so there's a chance they work, but abandoning it and using salt therapy is the point of the passage. Use of alternative therapies to treat respiratory conditions has multiple health benefits. Yes, that's this last sentence here. Abandoning bronchodilated drugs has been shown to boost lung capacity. So no, that's just the salt therapy, I think. Okay. This is the last question. So looks like we finished pretty comfortably. Um, the circle represents models with the MP3s, square, preloaded maps, pentagon, Bluetooth, and triangle voice commands. Six more models that have MP3 players and the number of models with maps. Okay, so five plus five. It doesn't work for some reason. Okay, why it's not working. Okay. 9 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7. Just 32. I'm just going to write that down. Um, Preloaded maps is going to be the square. So 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 12. 38. Um, no, so it's the other way around. An equal number of models have voice commands and MP3 players as voice commands and Bluetooth. So this is voice commands, MP3 players, but this is this is preloaded maps. So it's not that. Half the models that have MP3 players have more than one additional feature. So we've got more than one. So that would be. So we already have 32 with um, MP3 players. So we just got to do. More than one feature would be this. So it's not that, um, it has to be this, I think. Uh, we can check that as well since we have a little bit of time. Bluetooth and exactly one additional feature. So that's nine plus four plus seven. So nine plus four plus seven is 20. Preloaded maps and one feature. So eight plus four plus seven. Um, 8 plus 4 plus 7. That doesn't look to be true actually, which is interesting. But we'll have to see, I think, because I don't have enough time to check that. Yeah, so I actually thought that was pretty okay. Um, just at the end, sort of ran out of time to triple check that Venn diagram question. But I'll make a cut to the answers so we can see how I did. All right, so as you can see, I've done really well on this section, only one wrong. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below how you thought I did, whether there was anything you learned. And I'll just show you the explain answer for this question that I got wrong. So if you'd like, pause the video here and check why I got that one wrong and see if it makes sense to you as well. All right, so now that I've finished the decision-making subtest, hopefully you have an idea of what thought processes I'm using, what I'm writing down, and what I'm doing for answering these decision-making questions. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure to check out this video of me doing the verbal reasoning subtest live on camera as well.